Day 1969, Vietnam, 101st Airborne Division. On a hill somewhere around Hue, the supply chopper comes in. Usually loaded with mail, sea rations, ammo, and sometimes clean clothes. What is this, an ammo canister full of beef stew? We have no utensils to serve the stew, so the platoon leader uses his hand as we go through the line. When he finishes, he has stew up to his elbow. What a pleasant surprise that leaves a lasting memory. Submitted by Jim Griffin, Chickamauga, Georgia. Do you know that some people may have complained and criticized our U.S. government for not being able to provide us with utensils? They would question how we were expected to eat stew without proper tools. On the other hand, there were others who expressed gratitude because they were tired of eating MREs, meals ready to eat. And they were thankful that the U.S. government thought of them during Christmas while they were on the battlefield. This morning as I was driving to work, the driveline on my Jeep broke. I immediately thanked God that it happened before I reached the freeway and safely maneuvered my vehicle to the side of the road. It all boils down to our perspective and how we choose to view things. How we perceive and approach situations can greatly influence our reactions. In this case, I am grateful that I'm safe, nobody was injured, and I firmly believe that God always has my back no matter what circumstances arise. Psalm 147.5 in the New International Version says, Great is our Lord and mighty in power, his understanding has no limit. This verse highlights the greatness of our Lord and emphasizes his immense power. It also speaks to his unlimited understanding, indicating that God's knowledge and wisdom are boundless. In studying this verse, we can reflect on the awe-inspiring nature of God's character. His power is beyond measure and his understanding surpasses human comprehension. This verse invites us to humbly acknowledge his sovereignty and marvel at his limitless wisdom. Let's pray, Heavenly Father. Thank you for always being there for me, even in moments I don't see. As Christians, we know our struggles are not against flesh and blood. Whether in good times or bad, we give thanks for what we have, for your power and understanding have no limits. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for seeing us through hard times. Thank you for your constant presence, protection over us, our families, and our loved ones. As we go through our day, remind us of all the blessings you've bestowed upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.